Who makes the worst fast food breakfast sandwich? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We, the members of the Undercover Munch Unit, are always looking for the worst foods, snacks, and ideas. Yeah, so that we can try them and subsequently scorn them. But the Umu couldn't find those answers without asking you, the Mythical Beast, for your thoughts and opinions. They're like our little field agents. I know, it's so cute. And now we must play cornhole to figure out what you all really think. It's time for Scornhole, Worst Everything Edition. Welcome to the Scornhole Field Zone. Okay, dudes. Every round you'll be presented with a variety of items and have to guess which one the Mythical Beast voted the worst by tossing cornhole bags at the board. Yep. Each color corresponds to a fast food chain item and the bag representing the worst food is worth the most points. Whoever wins gets a special invitation from Corny Grandma and we're starting off with fast food sausage breakfast sandwiches. So, of the five in front of you, mm -hmm. which do the Mythical Beasts think is the worst? I'm, I've started, just something I'm gonna try this year is like, Stevie, when you explain something to me, I'm gonna act like it's the first time I've ever heard anything like that. I love that for you. That's why I was making that face, because I was like, if I was just a person that was dropped into this situation and had no idea, and then you're like, oh, you get to eat all these things and figure out which one's the worst, I would just be so excited. <laughs> I'm also happy for you. Look how burnt that is. Um, McDonald's screwed up. I think a McDonald's McMuffin. I don't know. It's not as good as a McGriddle. are so spongy, you know. Then you get to this. Dunkin' Donuts has a croissant. Oh. Of course, Mc, Burger King has a croissant as well. Croissant They're, is the best way to sandwich a sandwich. It's pretty damn good. And the this is quite an egg, fried egg of a situation. Not a scrambled egg. Um, whoops, that's, that's really good though. Wendy, she's got an English muffin, which is definitively the worst type of bread to make a, a sandwich out of. Spongy. Also, just for, oh, the, I didn't realize that Wendy's sausage was also square. Yeah, they got square meats. It's consistent. You're always a little bit behind me. You see that? None of these taste bad. No. Um, this is this is the classic for sandwich. I think this is the best thing that Burger King serves any time of day. They have scrambled eggs on theirs, which I prefer. And their um, croissant is softer and smaller than Dunkin' Donuts. Hmm. I think people have formed opinions about these. It's a good sandwich, man. It's my and favorite. They, Starbucks. So scrambled eggs on this, round patty. The cheese is what saves all of it. It's an odd flavor. It's not bad, it's just so different. Mm -hmm. It's not great, and why does everybody want to use an English muffin? I don't understand. I do not have any idea what I'm gonna do. Well, let's move over But I'm there. great, because this is the first time I've done it. So I have won the last two times we played this. Yep. And I think the last time Fair I did, and square, Link. didn't have an advantage. So I have to go first this time. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm not gonna vote for Burger King. Burger King is one of the best breakfast sandwiches out there. It shouldn't even be in consideration. Right. Now, you got the McDonald's Starbucks thing where it's like, they're so ubiquitous. More people have had that than say the Dunkin', so mm. they might be voting against it just because they're familiar. Ooh. Um, but when I think of breakfast, I'd never think of Wendy's. Never. And so I think that's an easy vote. That's where I'm starting. Yes, I stayed on the board. <clears throat> what you stinking? I am, I was arriving at Wendy's from a slightly different standpoint. And that was, nobody dislikes croissants, except like people who are trying to rebel against the French. Yeah, how could you, you know? Uh, it's a flaky English butter. muffins are bad, but three of those are English muffins. Wendy's is a good guess. My other guess is Starbuck. Why, you know what, I'll follow your lead here. Now, just a little insight into my world. 
Uh, we'll talk about, we'll probably talk about the clothes we're wearing later, you know, because you can have the opportunity to buy them. Uh, I put this t-shirt on today and it was a little bit small for me because I'm a big man. And so then I was like, well, I got to put something over it, but I still want to show it. And now I've got this flowy thing and it's going to catch me. So I'm going to have to hold it. That's what's going through my mind is I guess Wendy's. Yeah, think about all that while you're throwing. Yeah! Oh, a little too hard. A little too hard. So I just feel like, are there people that don't like the McDonald's McMuffin? Some people just don't like McDonald's. I would never order that for breakfast at McDonald's. There's too many other tempting things. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it. Oh, okay, I'm not. I'm not using that one now. Oh, fate has decided. Yep. Oh, I'm not but using you're that still bag. Still going with McDonald's. That, I'm going with McDonald's, but a different bag. Yes, mm. yes. Happy Link today. <laughs> okay, I'm back to Wendy's. I'm holding. Oh, that's a good. Okay, oh, right I'm, on there, the, I'm on the board. I'm on the board. That's beside my. So now I have the, the luxury of being able to spread my vote out. Like your seed. Uh, am I thinking Duncan? I was actually impressed with that Duncan sandwich. Yeah, but who knows about it, right? And then the Starbucks, I think people know that they just throw it in a microwave and they don't like that. I was hoping you wouldn't go here because this is where I was going next. So now- Hopefully you have a bad throw. It's, you know what, it's time for a bad throw, Link. Oh, that's a bad throw. I guess it was time. Uh, okay, okay. So now you're going for Starbucks? Yeah, because that, I agree with your logic. Oh, that's... Ah! Yes, he did the hole skip. He just skittered right over the hole and off the back cliff. I'm gonna try again for Starbucks. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That board is sticky for Linky today. Woo! No! Oh, foul, 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 and, foul, and, foul! And that is it. Now, don't, uh, don't uh, you, don't uh, you do it. Uh, uh, oh, man! Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, it fell, it counts. You know, Rhett, what I was gonna say was, if at any point... It falls. It falls, it counts. It, I was gonna say that. It wouldn't have fallen without me kicking but it. But now... It doesn't count. That is not the case. It does not count. I was just being cute. In order from least bad to worst, we have McDonald's worth one point. Oh no. Burger King worth two points. Food on y'all. Duncan worth three points. Wendy's worth four points, which means the worst is the Starbucks sausage breakfast sandwich for five points. Mm. Okay, wow. We should have gone Starbucks all the way. But so we, we, hey, we did pretty good, man. So we tied on Starbucks, you, and then we also tied. Uh, you got the McDonald's hole in one, which was the least uh, you could do, but you got yep. points for it. It was going the least in. effective way to take a lead. In front of you are five popular store bought chocolate chip cookie brands, but which did the mythical beast say is the worst? And these are all the soft versions, right? Yeah. Yes. I've never had a Keebler. Interesting thing. You don't see any chocolate chip on the top, it's in the middle. The entire inside is like a slab of chocolate. It's pretty mid, though. <laughs> it's bad. It's got you, that. You like these soft batch. I think this yeah. is the worst of cookies. Like I like a soft cookie, but I don't like a soft cookie that's been sitting on a shelf in a bag. It's like chemically soft. Exactly. Uh, Pillsbury have not had these. They look like the Chips Ahoy. Also bad. Don't taste great. Now, Mrs. Fields. She's she got never a, messes anything up. She's got a shop at the mall. Uh huh. At all the malls. The malls are dying though. Does that mean she'll die with it? Why is this so grainy? This doesn't taste good either. It doesn't. But I think people want it to taste good because it's Mrs. Fields and they know what it smells like at the mall. I'm gonna tell you right now, you didn't vote for it, but Mrs. Fields in this version sucks. It does. Cause you know, it's you the know worst. how good she can be. This is the worst version of Mrs. Fields. This is like Mrs. Field has had a rip. Is it Mrs. Field and then her cookies are Mrs. Fields? Or if I were to meet her, is she Mrs. Fields? Married to Mr. Fields? I think she's Mrs. Field. 
I don't think she's married to Mr. Field. I mean, I think there's no apostrophe, so. There's no apostrophe? You know, apostrophe. Uh, oh. There what? is an apostrophe? No. There's not. There is? There's a lot of chatter back there, here. There's there not. Is an apost- there's oh, not. So there's is, not an apostrophe. Is Mr. Fields? Yeah. It's Mrs. Fields. Well, We're yeah, not but. talking about Mr. Where'd you get her name, Stevie? From her parents. Maybe she's single. Yes, she's married to her parents. She don't need a, but she doesn't need a man to no, have a name. No, that's what I'm saying. Thank you. She definitely doesn't need a man. In fact, Mr. Fields is just like riding that gravy train. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Fields has never done anything. You talking about her dad? No, her husband just selected. You know how Mrs. works? Oh, with an R. Yeah. Well, yeah, I do know how that works. Now let's make up some stuff about Pepperidge Farm. Pepperidge Farm is by far the best prepackaged soft chocolate chip cookie I've tasted today. And it's still not great. I love it. You liked Chips Ahoy soft batch growing up, though. I would go over there and you'd be so soft. Rhett, Chips Ahoy is not soft batch. They're two different companies. And soft batch is good enough that it's not even in soft the Soft batch is a brand? Yes, soft batch is a brand. Is a brand? It's not Keebler or Pillsbury, is it? Uh, Keebler is soft batch. Oh, you were a Keebler man. So the Keebler is a soft batch. But you didn't She's know- divorced! <laughs> oh, what did he get? What did he get though? Mrs. Did he Fields get half? Is divorced. Did he get half a cookie? <laughs> so I didn't realize that the Keebler was soft batch. And yes, that was my jam growing up. Um, she probably put the cookies before him. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't know, I don't know about what happened in their relationship, but when you have that kind of success, it can be hard to hold on to a relationship. <laughs> I don't know what I'm voting for here because Keebler Soft Batch I knew about and they're they're decent. Pillsbury didn't know about. But hold on, that Keebler is not the Soft Batch I grew up with because there's too much chocolate. It's different. I'm so confused. Yeah. How would I anticipate people voting? A lot of people eat those Chips Ahoy Chewy. That's the most popular. Uh, I'm gonna, I gotta throw a vote at Pillsbury because people just don't know. Oh no, Mr. Fields died? Mr. Fields died. Hey, I'm throwing here. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it actually, but you did great. Do you want me to say Mr. After Fields the divorce. Uh, died in the middle of you throwing next time as well? Because it seemed to have helped. Uh, that's a good guess, Link. Uh, I may come your way. You're going for the soft batch Keebler? But I'm Keeblering it up. I know you liked him as a kid, but I did not like what I tasted. That's too hard. Oh uh, no. Now I gotta balance out your red to protect my lead. And I'm just gonna slide in the hole. Could I kind of read a little bit of lane there for you? How do I do my legs? I forgot. I do this. How do I do my legs? Oh gosh. Uh, Short. Not, not like that. It's not like that. Your legs. Are you spread? Oh, you're, you're I'm doubling not, I'm down. I'm not spreading my seat. I'm, I'm doubling down on Keebler. And that's all. Oh. All right, so I have got, I've got, got, got to get, a little blocky block I gotta going. get some red on the board I got board a blocky here. block going. Woo! All right. Now I'm going Pillsbury Town. Oh. And this is, my, oh. this is my last throw, right? It is. I gotta block your red and then hope, yeah, I just gotta play defense here. What are y'all learning over there? Well, it, honestly, I was I was didn't want to interrupt Link, but uh, her second husband died. Her first husband is alive. Yeah. She but she killed her second husband. No. <laughs> no. He choked on dough. <laughs> I've got to I've got to go for the hole. I go really... for the hole. Oh, okay. Right. So, this is tricky. We've canceled each other out because in my first throw, I missed entirely, right? Yeah, it's sitting right there. <laughs> no, that's my second throw. No, you've got three on there. We can was, see all the bags right it now. It was cancer. He died of cancer, not from the dough. Well, you can kill somebody slowly with cookies. <laughs> right, cookie cancer. Uh, Too much cookies could cause cancer. Sh- okay. So, now's your chance to get some points on the board. People may have strong opinions about Chips Ahoy because they've tasted them and they hate them. 
but I'm gonna go Pillsbury again. And I'm not gonna be tempted into trying to get over the top and then going off the back. I'm just trying to go for placement here. Playing it safe. Oh, yes! crap! Yes! I knocked myself off. Played it too safe, Rhett. Pepper's Farm, that's the way to go. In order from least bad to worst, we have Pepperidge Farm for one point. You're right. Mrs. Fields for two points. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pillsbury for three points. Dang. Chips Ahoy for four points, which means the worst are Keebler Shoot. cookies for five points. I should have Keeblered it up. We were all over it. I maintained my lead. You may recall very recently, I talked about my shirt situation. Now yep. we're gonna talk about how you can buy it. Yep, there it is. This is the, um, you know what time it is, collection. We got six different pieces. We got this black t-shirt, we got this long sleeve tee, and check out the back of this thing. Whoa, does that say Burbank on it? Yes it does. It says Burbank, and then you got the joggers here, in here, and, and there's not, a, uh, it all matches. There's another tee, there's a sweatshirt, and there's a trucker hat. You can like just dress yourself for a month. Check it out. If you really stretch it out, maybe a week. Mythical.com. Okay, finally we have a lineup of some of the most popular fast food restaurants logos. Mm -hmm. So which of these did the Mythical Beast think was the worst? So Burger King, I would, it's it's kind of retro, you know, the fact that. It's a burger as well. Yeah, and it's, it's super cool. Taco Bell, they keep switching stuff up. It feels a little bit like you, ha you had access to Word in like 2003 and you had to make something for a project. That's how I feel about that. Black and purple too, everything else is red. Wendy's has a person. Ish. Wendy, to be specific. Yeah, it makes sense. But does it make you hungry? No. I don't think so. Arby's, man, it's a big hat. It's a big hat, and then they follow through with that. I mean, you'll go to some of them and the entire sign will be the big hat, and that's awesome. Have you ever worn a big hat in two Arby's? You should try it. I have not. McDonald's, that's a classic. Oh, you can't go wrong How with that. How can you hate on that? It's a tight, tight game. Oh, look, Link, here's a trucker hat. It's so tight. So tight. Cool, man. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I gotta vote for Taco Bell because personally, I just don't like it. It's, it could have been a taco. It could have been anything. It's not cohesive. Make a Taco Bell. There's Get like it? The design of the bell is, and you know, it's a certain style, and then the Taco Bell is just slapped on underneath. Yeah. It's just lazy. Yes, stay. Clearly, I'm on team I hate Taco Bell logo. You aiming for the hole or just the board? Just the board. <sighs> All right. Well, Link, I'm always aiming for the hole. I just don't always throw it there. <laughs> Aim for the hole, you might land on the board. Aim for the stars, you might hit the moon. Because of not really though astronomy. the stars are much further away. No, if you aim for the moon, you're not probably going to hit a star. Yeah. So, but people don't really. If they knew how far the stars were, they would be really discouraged. Oh, that's short. It's like my arm. Like I got here, my arm just kind of like. You aim for you aim for the moon. You should have aimed for the stars. Okay. So now we're we're only voting for Taco Bell. Rhett's trying to pull ahead. Yes! He's done it. I needed it so bad! And he's done it. I needed that hole so bad! Whoa! Oh. You created a little predicament, a little predicament for us. I got to, I got to go for these. So you, nothing but Taco Bell, even after you've hit the hole? Mm -hmm. You're not gonna spread it? Yes! No! Oh. 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 I'll keep it together. All right, so let, let me think about this. I like because... you've been there before, Red. I just haven't won in this game in so long. So it's been since last year. All right, so there's just be quiet. Okay. Oh, no. There's a three point differential, and you are leading by four points right now. No, seven points in a factor of seven because you have to factor in. Yeah, it's it's seven times whatever the point total. Do you need of to put your thinking Taco cap Bell on? is yeah. I'm just trying to figure out, do I need to not go for Taco Bell, but now hope that it's something else that was the winner? Because if Taco Bell is the winner, there's no way I can beat you. Would it help you if I told you that I'm going for Taco Bell on my last throw no matter what, because it's true, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I need, to go, I need to go somewhere else and hope for a hole in one and hope that somebody hated Arby's 
more, most people hated Arby's more people than People hate Taco Arby's Bell. and they shouldn't because Arby's is a beautiful restaurant. I, it's a great logo. Your, your, your late in the game surge has pushed me into this corner. I hate it. Oh, 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 I told you what I was gonna do. I'm going for Taco Bell Shit. one last time. So competitive. <sighs> oh gosh. What can I do now? I mean, I just have to hope that nobody voted for Taco Bell. I think you have to hope that math isn't real. <laughs> In order from least bad to worse, we have McDonald's for one point, Taco Bell oh, for yeah, two y'all points. Suck. Y'all suck! Wendy's for three points. Burger King for four points, which means Arby's was voted the worst no! for five points. Hold, but hold Brett, on, hold on. Okay, CV, before you do this, yes. did you show them the logos? I, it's, it's, yeah. Is this a Gen Z thing? Yeah, I don't. You guys are like, I it don't sucks understand. and that makes it cool. This is a freaking hat! <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. You might hate the food, but love the logo, bitches. <laughs> I, I, hold on, dude. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I think you still won. Yeah, I'm you, just. I'm not. You, I'm, you I'm not thinking about the game anymore. But I'm thinking about y'all's say, opinions. If Link had landed the Arby's bag, you would have tied. But oh, it all came ow, down to that oh, Arby's man. bag. Uh, corny grandma, are you there? Hey. This way, this way. Over here. Hey. (laughs) You win a trip to a bed and breakfast for two. Are are you the other one that was going? I'm hoping. (laughs) Okay, hopefully you can cook. I'll do the breakfast if you do the bed. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. This is Dan and Olive from Chautauqua, New York, doing a sweet corn taste test with five varieties grown at a local farm. And it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Olive is so ready. (laughs) Click the top link to see how long it'll take us to link random topics together in Good Mythic and Mythic. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going. You know what time it is. A new GMM theme collection just landed in the store. Check it out now at mythical.com.